In today's news headlines, the police have neither identified a motive nor any suspects in relation to the 12 persons who were injured in the shooting incident last week. The police have not been able to establish a motive nor identify any suspects in relation to last week's shooting, which caused injuries to 12 persons in Franklin Town in East Kingston. The 12 persons, which included six men and six women, were shot and injured while they were at a party in the community of Franklin Town. The police have mentioned that they have not yet made any breakthrough with their investigations into the matter. They said that they are still doing their investigations. The police was unable to confirm if all of the injured persons were released from hospital, but said that quite a number of them were sent home after being treated. The party for which a permit was granted was held at the intersection of Wellington Street, York Street and Lacey Road in Franklin Town. Police reports indicate that close to 11.05 p.m., a barrage of explosions were heard. When the shooting subsided, the 12 individuals were found suffering from gunshot wounds. They were escorted to the hospital where they were treated. A man was ordered to pay $300,000 after causing harm to his 19-year-old girlfriend. A 23-year-old man who is accused of causing harm to the mother of his youth agreed to pay $300,000 in restitution when he appeared before the Kingston and San Andrew Parish Court on Tuesday. Mr. Fang, who pleaded guilty to unlawful wounding and assault occasioning actual bodily harm after the court was told that on march 16th he punched his 19 year old girlfriend in the eye kicked her and then stepped on her head when asked by the judge why he assaulted the mother of his youth on march 16th mr fang who confirmed that he works in a warehouse said that he did not mean to do same the woman told the court that Fang also threatened to kill her after she reported him to the Trenchtown police station. Fang was asked to pay $300,000 in restitution to his girlfriend and he agreed to pay same. Fang was remanded in custody until April 21st for sentencing. Reports continue to surface of flooding in Montego Bay, St. James, following heavy rainfall in the vicinity on Tuesday afternoon. Flooding occurred in Fairview, Montego Bay, and a woman and a youth were reportedly washed away by raging floodwaters near Westgate in Montego Bay. The Meteorological Service of Jamaica has reported that there is a trough across Jamaica and the Central Caribbean that is expected to remain in the region over the next several days. The Met Service has advised that residents should expect periods of showers and thunderstorms to continue across sections of most parishes, especially in the afternoons and evenings. Be safe across the island.